G'day YouTube, Turbo Tristan here. We've got some exciting news to share with everyone. We've managed to swap and upgrade our silver fluoro Civic build, our D16 Y4 NA build. We've swapped it for a massive upgrade. Welcome back to the channel everyone. We've managed to swap the silver fluoro Civic build, the D16 Y4, for an EK4. No, don't adjust your TV screens. I can't believe it either. Um, so this one is a 1995. Our other car was a 1999. So we've gone back in time four years, but we've upgraded the engine to a B16A. This is my first VTEC twin cam that I've ever had in my possession. So Pretty happy with that. Well, it's my first running and driving one that's mine. The K24 is my missus car. The K20 is my brother-in-law's car. And the K24 in the shed, I haven't driven on it yet. So this one counts. It runs and drives. It's a factory OEM car. It's in, I think, the best color, which is the midnight purple. The paint's seen better days, but you can see it there. And the plan with this car is to give it a full restoration. Now it's got some BBS wheels on there. I have to pull them off and see if they're genuine. They're probably not, but they could be. Plan with those is to bead blast them, get them uh, all back to raw alloy and paint them silver. That's if we can't find any genuine wheels for it. Same thing with the brakes, we'll get those bead blasted as well and probably just galvanized or zinc plated so they're back to factory. New brake road is all the way around. It's already got Bridgestone RE003 tires on it so they're gonna stay. The bad points are all of the clear coats coming off the car but the EK4 does have a sunroof. It's got this weird little spoiler on the back which some people love, some people don't like. It seems to be a factory item, so we'll keep that. Might upgrade to an EK9 rear spoiler, just because I think it'll set the car off. Color code everything, get all of the dents taken out with a PDR, so paintless dent removal. Restore the headlights, restore the tail lights. Do all new gaskets and seals in the motor. It's not too bad, but there is a bit of oil leaking around, so we'll definitely change those. There it is there, EK4. So we'll get this re-powder coated. I'm considering getting a set of headers for it, some valve springs and retainers, and tuning the ECU, just to get the most out of it, but keep it otherwise stock. I would love to put a set of white line sway bars on the car front and rear, and probably a set of like 30 or 40 mil lowering springs, provided that those shocks are in great condition. Um, and just hardly modified, all tasteful, just nice stock, restored. Yeah, valve springs and retainers, uh, new valve stem seals, ECU tune, uh, some headers, some sway bars, lowered springs. I think that'll just tidy everything up. We got this bad boy up in the air, so we better check it out. So first thing I noticed on the restoration list is they've painted the brake calipers red uh, while they're still on the car. Bit of overspray here, there and everywhere. So probably take those off, get that bead blasted off or cleaned off with a wire brush or something, get them repainted, uh, repaint these get rid of all of that red paint. I really want to upgrade the brake lines. Not that there's anything wrong with them, but just something that I really love to do. Simple, uh, effective, and really, really increases the braking power by putting some braided lines. It stops the expansion of the rubber lines, which are 25, 27 years old. We have a bro speed exhaust. I don't know what bro speed is, but it's the speed of the bros. Uh, really, really close to the sway bar. Bit of uh, mangled welding going on here with the MIG slag. Um, but it's nice and quiet, and I think it looks good. So, I don't know. Get your thoughts on whether I should replace that or not. It's 
it sounds stock, so it's really, really quiet. The rest of the exhaust is 100% factory. Uh, everything else under here looks really, really good. These bushes look good, but I would like to put some white line ones in there just because. Don't want to have any issues in the future. There's no bang marks or dents or any signs of any crash or anything underneath the car, so it doesn't look like it's been off-road at all. Even the jack points are perfectly straight, and I can't stress that enough. They are absolutely perfectly straight. Um, bit of grease here above where the CV joint was, so it tells me that these CVs have been replaced at some point. We've got the ABS brakes as well. Ball joints all look good. They look like brand new tie rod ends. Um, everything else is pretty sweet. There is a leak here. I've got a new sump gasket for this, but I don't know if it's a sump gasket or whether it's a rear main seal or whether it's a gearbox seals. Either way, all of this is gonna come out and we're gonna replace and refresh all of that. Get it back to OEM factory spec. Everything else, all of the plastic trims are intact. And uh, we've got a set of Bridgestone R003s on there, which are pretty nice. Uh, these wheels, again, I'm not sure if they're true BBS. I can't see any markings on them. I'll definitely have to take them off. Oh, it says Mullins wheels made in Australia. So they're pretty, pretty high quality made in Australia. So we might refresh these. I'm willing to bet these are some fake caps. So we might get these pressure blasted, fix any gutter rash on them and paint them silver, I think. But everything else is looking pretty good. There's that purple under lights. One thing I absolutely love about the car is the interior. So check it out, factory interior. Uh, it's got this really cool pattern there headrests, front and rear, sunroof. It's got the black interior being an EK4 and the taco revs out to nine. Inside the car is pretty good. It's got the factory cup holders all built in. So I think we are on a winner guys. I'm very, very happy with this trade. Now, don't get too carried away or too crazy because uh, the guy did get a very good car. Um, he didn't down trade because he got a newer car with less Ks. Um, it's just been restored. Pretty much everything's been changed on it. Uh, he did get some cash his way, so we gave him a few grand uh, just to sort him out. Um, this sort of turned out in our favor. We had to chuck some money his way. Um, just little things in the interior need replacing, but I think it was a fair swap. The reason for the swap is he'd only had the car for around about a month, uh, first year apprentice. So he already had this Civic and another Civic. The other one was really, really beat up, he told me. So now he's swapped this one for a good one, get rid of the old one, cash back in the pocket, cash back in the pocket for this one. So I think that's a really fair swap. So that's something to remember. Um, he definitely did really, really well out of the deal. Uh, but then again, so did we. We upgraded our car. We moved on the other one. So we're onto new projects. One thing though, don't get too upset. It is gonna have to wait. We're probably gonna sit this car around for around about six months or so. Sure, we'll be collecting parts during the process, filling little bits here and there, but I'll do it all as one build series eventually. Uh, we're gonna get the car fully registered with full rego. Eventually the car will be totally resprayed all the way around in its factory original color uh, if anyone's wondering the paint code here is pb74p which uh i looked it up it says it's a midnight purple before we get on to this car we've got to build an e30 engine swap that we've got to build a vl turbo with an rb30 that's this motor here rb30 turbo then we've got to do the mr2 while all that's happening, I've got to fix up the head on mine and get it tuned. We've still got to do the red ED and we've still got to fix up the little ripper so we can sell that. But I'm excited for this project. Couldn't be happier. We'll get all new genuine parts. 
genuine decals, genuine badges. It's gonna be just a thing of beauty once it's finished and no expense spared. We're not gonna put cheap parts on this car. It's gonna be all top notch, top shelf stuff back to original plus a little bit. That's my plan for it anyway. I will need to replace the radiator. It looks like it's pretty much just about to explode. But I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy the good news. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully we get to 10K really, really soon. The channel's growing immensely. I couldn't be happier. So thanks to everyone that subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, now's your chance. Turn the bell notifications on. Spool up, crack some VTech, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.